What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy Blue, and this is my first look at the Japanese Railway Train Simulator. Now, I know I've played a lot of train sims, but I literally know nothing about the Japanese Railway. So, let's give it a shot and see what they have to offer. I gotta say, the mini music is pretty entertaining, but I can't show it in the video because it's probably gonna demonetize me. But anyways, guys, welcome to the cab. I don't know what train this is, uh, but we're somewhere in Japan, and... I'm trying to find out what I'm looking at right now. Like this, we're in the game. Currently stopping at station. Please wait until the pilot lamp turns on. I like the sounds. I like the sounds a lot. I think the pilot light is this. I don't think my mouse actually moves around. I can't look around or anything. I'm trying to click. Yeah, I can't look around. Oh, okay, so. Multiple cabs, so it's more of a 2D cab view, I see. I release the brakes and accelerate, so that's this button. And then accelerate, let's see, Z. Are we moving? Oh, oh yeah, we're moving. What is this? What? Okay, what what is even going on right now? I don't under graphically I don't understand how this works. Alright, there's a crossing right there. Is there a horn? Backspace. Bro, there's freaking people walking around. These are real people walking around. What is this? I don't, I don't know how they did this. Bro, am I in Japan right now? This is amazing. <laughs> I really don't understand how this, what is this foreign Japanese technology? Duolingo, I need to learn Japanese ASAP. Oh my god. I, I think we have to stop. This is station. Do we stop at this station? Look at this station. Uh, how do I stop? Please adjust speed. Are we stopping? Oh my god, look at that. There's people. These are real freaking people. That's an actual Japanese woman. There's a guy with a Game Boy. I think we missed it. You passed the stopping point. Please stop. I'm trying to stop. I'm pressing. It says Q. Q is the key. Alright, did we fail? Are we starting over? I, I think it... Okay, I'm, I am on beginner mode. Alright. So for all of my Japanese friends out there who are probably heavily judging me, this is my very first time. I have not practiced or tested this game, this is my very first try at this, so I'm extremely new. Alright, are we, are we going now? Can we go? Can we go? What's, what's going on? Alright, so Z key. Alright, so Z key is how you release the brakes and throttle up. Alright, I'm looking at, at the, the keyboard controls right now. But this is amazing, like, this... So this is live action. This is not like somebody didn't 3D model this scenery. Like this, this is one to one what it looks like. Basically, if you got a video camera sticking out the front of this train, that's pretty amazing. I mean, it sounds great. It sounds just like the real thing. Uh, I'm having a hard time understanding some of the UI. Part of it's in Japanese, some of it's in English. All right, it's just another stop. Let's go ahead and start slowing down again. All right, Q key is, I believe, how you throttle down and start braking. All right, so we're looking. We're gonna get better at this. We're getting better. Okay, maybe too much. Too much. We're slowing down too much. Now I don't know like where on the HUD it's showing me my actual. Yeah, everybody's texting. That's very accurate. 
He's on the phone. All right, stop, 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 stop. This is amazing. Okay, I don't know how to open the doors. Or does somebody else do that? You stop too early, please move forward. Okay, you're a little picky. All right, you're a little picky. I, I get you. I was pretty happy with that one. I was pretty I, I'm proud of myself. I said, where's the stop marker? There's a few, like, gaming elements implemented. You see on that little, on the left side, on that pole where it says five. I believe that's an element showing where we're supposed to be stopping at. I think that's what I'm trying to get to. Did we, did we do it or do we go over? Okay, cool. So, yeah, interesting. Very different. I've never played a train simulator like this before. I love that. That is so cool. That little uh, announcement back there from the cab. That's pretty cool. Alright, so Z again to get going. This is pretty amazing. This is... Look, a guy on a freaking motorcycle over there. This is pretty amazing. Now, the one thing I'm definitely missing out on is I would love the ability to, you know, look around with my mouse. What else can I do? Let's see, we have... Neutral gear. Let's go to neutral gear. Which is S. Uh, what else? Reverser, dead man's handle. I have the horn. That's basically, there's not a whole lot you can do control wise. I'm using a keyboard and mouse. I'm curious to know if, is it always going to be daytime? Or are there, look at that grass. Are there, uh, is there, is there a nighttime? Like, service is it always the same service when i go through the main menu you do get the option to start at different stations uh, there's also two different railways that you can choose from uh i have to apologize i don't know how to pronounce either of them and i don't know where they are so i'm not very much help to you right now uh oh are we stopping oh wait i'm pressing the wrong button wrong button don't stop keep going zz okay there it is there's our station right there but this is really impressive, like, I'm just, I've never seen a game like this before where it, it takes, it's like driving through Google Earth. You has a Japanese fan, that's so authentic. Alright, keep it slow, keep it slow. Yeah, I need to understand what the cab with all these um, instruments in the cab and all these numbers actually mean. That's having a hard time understanding when I'm pressing the brake and when I'm not pressing the brake. And there we go. Made it to this, what's this, second, third stop? Yeah, I I like I like the sounds. Sounds, you know, I complain a lot for a lot of games and simulators about the sounds, and I have no complaints at all in this game about sounds. I think they are most likely recorded from this exact train ride or cab ride that they made this game from. Very interesting concept in a way on how to make a, a game or a simulator by taking live action footage. I think I get. I don't know how this works. I don't know how you were to make this, but I'm not personally impressed and I, I legit have the feeling that I'm sitting in the cab of a Japanese railway train in Japan. Like, you know, in any simulator, Japan is a place that I've very rarely got the chance to go to. I've never been there in real life, would love to visit, but um, this really gives me the feeling that I'm there. But again. One thing I would love to see is the ability to look around or have some more options of view. So maybe a view from the passenger uh, view would be cool. Here comes the train on the right. Let's give them a quick friendly honk. They probably don't do that. There he goes. That's a real train right there, guys. That's a real freaking train. Not a 3D model. It's a real freaking train. Now, you know, honestly, this 
if you're gonna go with this concept and i'm giving you feedback this game is new it's an early access it's not complete it's an early access game um this concept just it absolutely needs vr if you're gonna do it like this uh it's just pretty simple a pretty simple concept but if you can do it like this if you can bring it into vr man that is a must-have for this concept of game i mean imagine that like legit taking you to japan in your vr headset that's impressive i am noticing as i slow down the people are walking slower and it's not the smoothest of like fps you know once you get slow when you go faster you don't notice that i'm really curious how what what foreign japanese technology that they pull out the bag oh look at it on the left there's just so much to see all right how close can we get here i don't know how we're doing on time um, so it is telling us on the top right. I think that's our current time. Are we close enough? Are we good? Are we good? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're getting better at this. Now, how many stops are there? Like, how long is this route? I, yeah, I probably should have did some research before I hit, started hitting record. Uh, but I was curious. I don't know anything. This game is so new. I, I want to say a big thank you and shout out to... Uh, big thank you and shout out to... A4 sheet of corrugated cardboard on my Discord uh, for recommending um, me check out this game. I would have never heard about her or knew anything about it, thanks to him um, or her. They was like, hey, you should go check out this game. I was like, okay, sure, I'll give it a try. All right, rolling out the next station. It says next is Minam Minami Yurawa. Distance is 1,500 meters. And I think below that is showing our gradient yeah I'm, I'm starting to pick up some things i'm not sure what the fp5 means um i do like that they put a lot of stuff in english yeah it's it's definitely half english half japanese and i'm glad that they they've kind of done that because i can actually understand i was really worried when i saw the screenshots i was like oh no i'm not gonna be able to understand anything in this game but um it's done a good job of including a lot of English translations, and it's, it's all correct so far. Um, thankfully, there's no sick. Oh, I mean, I don't understand Japanese signals yet, so we'll see if that comes into play. I am seeing some signals on the left-hand side as we drive by. Just going to assume that green means go and red means stop in case it comes up. Doing 89 kilometers per hour now. And I think that's a station up ahead, so we'll start slowing down again. There is an intermediate and a advanced version of this, so if you are actually very uh, knowledge knowledgeable when it comes to Japanese trains and railroad, oh hey, look at that guy waving a flag at us. Um, if you are knowledgeable, you can actually run this whole route uh, with no HUD at all, which I think would be epic. That would probably be like the best experience, being able to run it with no HUD. I mean, so far, it's been pretty easy to see the stations coming up. We got a guy on the left doing some construction, looks like. Or what is he doing? No, that's a, a guard. Oh, we were, I got distracted. <laughs> oh, I got distracted by all the action going on around us. All right, so it's going to respawn us, I guess, back to where we're supposed to be. I actually like that idea. I like that concept of, hey, you overran your stop. Let's go ahead and, and rewind you back to where you're supposed to be, and we'll pick up from there. That way it's not as, um, you know, it, it's a lot more forgiving. Is that it? Is it over? Are we done? Thank you for driving. Oh! <laughs> okay, well, that last one was shorter than I expected. Not sure how long this one's going to be. But now we have switched trains. and We're in the, uh, what I believe is the Kiha 110 series. The other train we were in was the E233 series 1000. That's what the manual says. I'm just reading it. Um, I don't know if this train operates the same i'm personally not sure uh but i guess once everything is loaded as it sounds like the doors are closing now we can get going and i believe that light here in the middle in the very center of our console is the pilot lamp and we cannot move until that lamp turns off once that light goes off you will attempt to release the brakes and go or I guess the light maybe the light's not gonna go off 
All right, there's our brakes and Z. Okay, cool. I guess I was wrong, but wrong about the light. I thought the light was gonna go off before we left. Oh, we're rolling. I'm just still amazed by the way they put this together. It's just very interesting. I mean, I guess I understand the concept now of using basically a 2D panel because in reality, what we're looking at is just like a live action video and we're playing through a pre-recorded video. So, and I could be wrong. Again, it's my first look, my very first attempt and try at playing this. Um, but I assume that every time you run this uh, this route, you're gonna see the exact same thing because this was, you know, a recorded video from a specific time, a specific place in history, right? So, very cool concept though. Very cool way to capture um, a time and place. So I'm really curious to know what other other people think about this idea, this concept. Do you do you see yourself? playing this game are you just in love with Japanese railways you just want to doesn't matter um, or are you someone like me who that's our alerter are you someone like me who's not you know necessarily familiar with the area not really you know emotionally attached to the r Japanese railway uh, I just like playing different diverse routes I just like branching out exploring traveling the world and and seeing what other places have to offer that's the, what interests me and, and playing so many different types of train simulators and, and simulators in general, different flying games, all kind of stuff like that. But I'm curious to know, what do you think about this concept? Um, so yes, obviously video as a 2D panel. If you hit the C key, it'll actually turn off different elements of the 2D panel. Uh, if you just want like a nice little cab ride, you can kind of do this here, which is actually pretty nice, very cool, really relaxing. Um, but I think it's better to have this on. You can see there's definitely photos like these are real photos, very high res photos of the cat, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. Again, like I said last time, I would love to be able to look around and have the freedom to do that. Um, VR is a must have in this game. Is our alerter again, is this as fast as I can go? Or is there like another gear? Because we are topping off at 30 kilometers an hour. I don't know, I'm trying to look through my controls to see if there's anything I can do here. Besides the horn, see the light is actually a graphic element, which is very nicely done. It's very smooth. Yeah, very. It would be nice to know where this is exactly in Japan. I may have to look it up later. It's almost like we're coasting. Let's see. So throttle up is Z. I'm pressing that. I guess we're max throttle already. Uh, throttle down is A. Yep, okay. So let's roll back up. So actually, yeah, wait, I, did, I should have throttled down because it took a while to get the, the game back up again. Uh, we can also go neutral gear, which means no brakes, which will be the M key. Definitely don't want to do that right now. Emergency brake is the slash, backslash key. Uh, neutral gear, no throttle is also S. Okay, so S and M are both neutral gears. Interesting. Uh, we can show and hide the HUD with V. All right, there's a train coming up on our right. We can pause the game with P key. I'm not gonna do that right now. And again, the horn is either enter or backspace. Ah, that's not working though. Okay, there we go. So backspace for this train. Uh, the dead man's switch reset is E. And to move your reverser forward or down, it's up. Which maybe that's the problem. Maybe my reverser is not in place. Again, I can't see the reverser. And from what I understand, there's nothing to tell me where my reverser handle is. Now there is on the HUD on the top right, it says P5, B5. Maybe that is my reverser indication because we're supposed to, we're, we're still 2,000 meters away from our first stop and we're already 25, 26, 27 seconds late. To midnight, oh look at that, ahead of us we have a, uh, uh oh, what did I just do? What did I just do? Scroll up, what does that do? Oh, we just came to a stop. 
Okay, so you can also use your scroll wheel as well on your mouse as a way to control your throttle up and down. So you can either use a keyboard or the mouse. That's interesting. I've never seen it done that way before. So if you use a scroll wheel, if you scroll back towards you. Oh, wow. That's what we should have been doing the first time. Look at that. We're getting some speed now. Okay, I might have to do it that way for now on. If you scroll wheel back for, uh, towards you, that is throttle up. And if you scroll wheel forward, that is throttle down. Okay. All right. Now we're moving. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we're probably going to blow through our stuff now. I'm pretty confident that's what's going to happen. Okay. So as I move my scroll wheel as well, you can also see the uh, that P go up and down from five to lower. So that is actually my power setting. So power setting five. That's what we're on right now. We're going downhill. Bro, we moving now. Okay, we're definitely going to blow a signal. Let's go ahead and bring it in. So now we're going 60 to B. Ah, okay. Now I'm seeing it. Now I'm getting an understanding of the HUD. Now I'm getting an understanding. All right, so that's P5. So power five. And then once it goes to yellow, it's brakes. All right. I, yeah, I think using the mouse is definitely much easier and faster. So let's see if we can find where our stop is. Is that it right there? 300 meters. Yeah, I think right here where these uh, freight cars are actually sitting. Well, oh, that's pretty cool. Look at those freight cars. I've never seen a Japanese freight car before. So we're in brake six setting. Look at that. That's a pretty cool. I've never seen a Japanese freight car. Oh, it's a reflection. I'm done. I passed it. What you mean I passed it? Bro, the, the platform is right here. There's plenty of plat right there. Okay, but look at that. In the mirror, you can see us. That is so cool. Wow. Yeah, I'm like, I have mixed feelings about this game. It's like, I don't know. I, I, it's just different. It's very different, but it's still very cool in its own way. All right, sounds like the doors are shutting. So it's right there, it says, please wait until the pilot lamp turns on. Okay, I had it backwards. So when the light's on, we can move. When the light's off, we can't move. So again, using my scroll wheel and bringing it into full power, which is power mode five. And now we're gonna get started, start rolling. So 3,000 meters to our next stop. S our uh, scheduled time of arrival is in two minutes. Not sure if we're gonna make that because we're already late from the last stop. But we're just gonna ride and enjoy the view, man. Enjoy the enjoy the sights now I will say I kind of like I kind of like the the no HUD camera right here I'm kind of digging this I'm kind of digging this that way you can really appreciate look at that crosswalk you can really appreciate the scenery without all that stuff in your way and honestly I don't really understand what any of this means anyways so it doesn't help me <laughs> at the moment all the information we need is in the top right in the HUD. Again, I am on beginner mode. I don't know what like the sequence of horns for cross for uh, railroad crossings are in Japan. Wow, look at this! This is amazing. Yeah, I seriously do wonder if they have multiple versions of this, or if they plan on doing multiple versions. And what I mean by that is. Right now, it's kind of like a partly cloudy day. Are they going to do another run of this? Uh-oh, what does that sound? I don't know what that means. Are we slowing down? No, we're not slowing down. I guess we're fine. Uh, are they planning to do like a run in the rain, a run at night? You know, uh, it's a, a few different variations. Like this bridge coming up. All right, HUD's coming off. That is sick. Come on, that is so cool. It really is. Maybe it means we're speeding. We are going pretty fast. Yeah, it is. I think it's slowing us down. 
That's a red light, isn't it? That's for us. Yeah, we're about to fail. No? Okay, I guess we're fine. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're yelling at. I feel like this should be a Japanese lady yelling at me. You know, like the German trains with the Jap the German guy yelling at you, seafood and all those crazy things. It could be because I'm in beginner mode that uh, it's letting me get away with some of this stuff. You see, we're now switched over to another track. I don't know what that dinging means. Adjust speed and come to a stop. Is there a station coming up somewhere? Listen to that. Oh, yep, the station right here. Are there any people here? Alright, start breaking. I'm not sure where. Oh, I think we have to stop at the mirror. Yeah, I think they want us to stop at the mirror. Yep, yep, I was right. So it's gonna respawn us back to where we're supposed to be in front of the mirror. Which, again, I, I don't hate that. I actually like that idea. I've never played a train simulator that uh, is so forgiving that when you blow a red light or blow. The uh, the stop marker on where you know your stop is at the station. It like basically respawns you back where you're supposed to be and allows you to run from there. I like that idea a lot. I think it's great for beginners. Again, we're in beginner mode because I am a beginner. Um, I think it's great for beginners because if you run a stop, you know you can reset and also get, helps you understand where you're supposed to be stopping at. All right, let's get moving. All right, full power. Not sure how we're doing on time, but you know, whatever. We're just enjoying our ride in the Japanese railroad. Railroad. Like that's somebody's house right there on our left. Like somebody lives there, and there, and there. I'm not sure which one I like better. I kind of like this one. It's more like suburb. Like it's not as much in the city. City. More like outside outskirts, but definitely two very, you know, different routes. Probably growing rice in that field. I'm just guessing. I don't know. Might be racist. <laughs> you can't say that. Is that a cemetery? I think it's a cemetery. Yeah, I think I think I've found my my favorite camera view for this simulator for this game. Man, the sounds are so immersive as well. As you go underneath a bridge, you really hear it. As you go over a bridge, sorry, when you go underneath the bridge or on a bridge, the sounds are very authentic. Even on a crosswalk, you can hear. It. Look at that guy on a motorcycle or a bike. Got some farms on the left side. The more, uh, yeah, more farming here. The way they do farming here versus how we do it in the U.S. is very different. Like a bird. <laughs> really looking forward to hearing your uh, comments and your thoughts on this in the comment. I'm sorry, in the, yeah, in the comments. And um, again, I always learn so much from you guys and your feedback. So I just want to say thank you so much for that on all of my videos. And I know next time I play this, I'll have so much more knowledge because uh, you guys will have corrected me on that. Are we going max? We're not going fast enough. Go max speed, bro. Full power. All right now, he's yelling at us. Going uphill 5.5%. We're 600 meters away from Guma Fujioka. Look at that. That billboard. I hear you. I hear you. Alright, stop. Are we going left or are we going right? Which one? Alright, we're in neutral. We're at a coast in. And going left. We got all those little bikes on the right. Alright, where are we stopping? Let's get slowed down. Looking for a mirror. I think I see the mirror. 
Yep, I see the mirror. Let's see if we can get it this time. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, baby. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm getting it. I'm getting it better. There ain't no people here. Where are my people at? Oh, I'm getting a lot better at this, man. I'm getting a lot better. Oh, no. I'm actually, I, don't know, I think I might be liking this game. I, I think that's it. Well, thank you guys. Well, if you're interested in getting this game for yourself, it is called JR East Train Simulator. It is available now on Steam for pretty darn cheap, actually. So go get it if you want to try it out. And until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all. You got peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.